Hi everyone, thanks for stopping in today. Today we are going to, I'm testing out my new little lighting contraption and so far what I'm seeing seems to look like it's working a lot better. Um, not sure if it helps all of this, but at least you might be able to see me somewhat. Um, and we are gonna try out, try out, let me try that again. We are gonna try out my little uh, contraption that I got from Vipon and the contraption that I've got set up here is from Vipon as well. But we are going to see if we can't use this interlocking device to tighten up this mess on my head. Uh, ugh, hair in my mouth, sorry about that. Alrighty, so we are going to maybe start with the two in front here. Once I figure out which way I want them to lie, I've got them separated. Um, what it tells you to do in the video when you watch the video, let me just move on up here since I'm going to have to be closer to you all anyway and I apologize for being all up in your face but um, I don't know how else to show you uh, how this works so anyway um, let's see if we can kind of maybe take the smaller baby he's one of my newer dreads and then I just took a bunch of loose hairs new growth um, if you will and I made this dread out of it I have not been religious about um, keeping it tightened up so this one's kind of gone off on his own and done his own thing but let me just take a little contraption out of its box here so I have a feeling this is going to work great on my smaller dreads uh, but we'll have to see how it does on some of the thicker ones um, but anyway the first thing they tell you to do get in here so I could see you is they tell you yeah Look, throw that one up there somewhere. There we go. And get rid of all the strays. Okay, and it tells you to to comb down. And then you're going to take this. You are going to thread that through and then pull it up so that it kind of locks up. And this one may be kind of short, so we'll see how many times around we can get this one. And then what you do is you take it and you put it through the new growth and you pull the thread through. I think that's kind of cool. All right, so far so good, except it did fall out of my little thread needle, if you will. And then, like I said, you're supposed to go in the four different directions. Okay, so we just took it backwards. So now we are going to take it sideways. I do believe we're getting some there. Now we're gonna take it through the other side. All right, and then we may just have to go back and crochet some anyway. But I believe we just keep doing this till we get it where we want it. We are gonna come from underneath and through now. through a side because I don't think I want to take it right back through the way I just came. Now we will take it forward and back. And now we will take it from this side and over. <laughs> that is my uh, smoker in the house. Nice and healthy. Okay, and now we are going to come back through again from behind. I, I do believe we are getting somewhere. And then. Hey, I do believe that is working. All right, let's try this a few more times. 
side to side here. And I think it'll work better if I have just the end of the dread in there so that I'm not trying to pull through this big hook and sad there. Here. And how are we doing? Oh my gosh, you guys, I do believe I do believe that worked. Oh, M to the G. Okay, I'm gonna take it back now one more time from the front the back and I think that might be the last time we can get it to go through alrighty and oh my gosh guys I do believe that worked oh look at how pretty that goes in all right I know I could do one more um, but I think we're gonna leave it there well and then like I said they said that the last time you do it you want to put it in the direction that you want it to lay. So I'm thinking I don't want it laying this a direction here. So we are going to take it one more time. Front to back. And then that way, there, there we go. Did I just pull it through the other one? I think I just did. I'm not 100% sure what I just did there, you guys. Um, it's kind of hard when you're not seeing things through the camera lens. You know what? I'm thinking I'm just going to leave that. Oh, I wonder if I can take it out. Mm. Alrighty. There we go. Well, no. Mm -mm. That one totally went through. Oh, there we go. There we go. I was able to pull that one out of whatever it was I just did. This is the one that we were working on. Let's get the other one out of the way. Like I said, I've got these loose hairs that I do need to incorporate into. Oh my God, all the loose hairs are making my nose itch. Okay, we are going to take this one one more time. And I will try to see what I'm doing here. Okay, and I'm going to take it up from behind and just go through this one now. There we go. Yeah, I just got that one. Let's try that again. There we go. All right. Okay, and there we go. I just got it through that one. Awesome. And now he is going to um lay that away for a little bit and of course once you tighten them up they're they're kind of stiff and they're going to sit in the direction they want to go in for a while Alrighty, hey okay i do believe this is going to work you guys really like that. Okay, I'm going to get this guy out of the way. Stuff him around there and get rid of some of these flyaways. Okay, so we went in uh, back to front, so now we are going to go in the other direction. Okay, now we're going to go in sideways. Oh my god you guys this is gonna be so much faster holy holy girls <clears throat> okay i'm just getting a little bit happy here i think i'm gonna just try and do some of these through feel there we go all right oh hello okay this is gonna be so much faster than the 
methods I've been using, which is the crochet. And then of course I do have to go in, especially with the newer ones and just kind of crochet all the loose hairs in. There we go. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Dreads. Mind of their own. Yeah. Little devil horns there. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I will work with a few of the others. Oh, like this one. This one's got a whole lot of, whole lot of growth on it, as you can see. Oh yeah. That's all the way down there. So let's just play with this one while I've got you on the line here. And we're going to go back to the front. Side to side. Okay, this was the smaller of the two. Um, but like I said, these are new dreads too, so um, they're rather thin they basically just got started As you can see that that's already coming up and we are already taking up some of that growth right there. It's basically twisting the dread in place rather than twirling and, and uh, crocheting the dread in place. And you just keep taking it back through the new growth. Okay, we are going to, helps if you get it in the little needle thingy. One more time. Front to back. I'm hoping you can see it. It's not one of those things I can kind of See what I'm doing here. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay, you saw that there was that much new growth, and now we are up to here. So we're going to come behind again and forward. And we are going to go from this side this time. I have to work mainly feel. I'm trying to see it through the lens there, but it's not coming really true food through for me there. Oh my gosh. All right. There we go, you guys. Awesome. Oh my gosh, okay. We just tightened up three dreads in less time than it took me to do one before. So, alrighty, hey, and that's just the start. All right, um, don't worry. I will definitely take you along for the ride on some of the others just to see how well it works on some of my bigger dreads here for you. All right, we're gonna call it good for now. This was just to see if this was truly going to work. All right, guys, we will see you in a bit. Thank you.